Oh, well, continuing to talk about aquaculture projects, right here next to me is a minor one. <laughs> uh, this occurred because I was a bit pokey about getting ponds set up over here for Ellen to put her water plants in. Ellen belongs to uh, the local uh, water gardening club. And so the folks at the club, they tend to pass hand-to-hand -hand, uh, all sorts of different aquatic plants here. And so if you're on the Big Island, uh, and especially on the east side, and you're into water gardens uh, and don't know where to find some plants or network, you know, you might want to contact. Uh, it's the Big Island Water Gardening Club. Anyhow, Ellen kept bringing stuff home from these meetings, and I'm going, man, I don't know what to do with this stuff. Well, she went out to Target, and she bought some of these here $5 <laughs> plastic tubs. They're $5 plastic tubs with handles on them. I don't know, it's like a laundry basket almost. Anyway, I put them out in the yard, uh, let them fill up with rainwater, and right here we have both gold and purple tropical water lilies growing in this one. Um, well, and one day... She came home, and she had some water chestnuts. Well, you know, considering the Green Garden guy's into eating stuff, I looked at that and went, wow, food? Whoa. Okay, so I got excited. I love water chestnuts, but I really only like them when they're fresh. The canned ones pff, taste like cans, no good. Uh, but the fresh ones are awesome. And, wow, wow. I hadn't had them in a long time, and the opportunity to begin to grow my own, even though I knew nothing about this at all. Um, well, the friend Allen's that had given them to her said that she uses kitty litter, uh, the clay type, gray clay granules, looks like oil dry, uh, as the medium uh, to root the plants in. And so Ellen bought a sack of kitty litter, and we dumped about oh, four or five inches of it in the bottom of one of these here tubs. Um, and then I, I took the water chestnuts, I plopped them into the kitty litter, about four or so of them. Uh, and then I did embed a little bit of fertilizer down into the kitty litter near them so they had something to grow on. And I kind of walked away and, you know, let it be. All summer long, I had a, a bucket over here full of tulies, you know, the uh, bulrush, the, the reeds. Uh, and they were green and growing, you know. I said, well, this, things are alive, at least. They didn't die off. At first, I think I did rot away two of them. Uh, they disappeared in there. But then the ones that survived took off, and they filled the entire bucket. Uh, then fall came, and it got a little cooler. Days got short, and the water chestnuts decided to go into dormancy. And so most of the reeds have now turned golden, and it would be time for a harvest. Right here, you can uh, see the tub full of water chestnuts, surrounded by some New Zealand spinach here. I'm going to roll my sleeves up. Uh, last I checked, this was pretty amazing, because all the water chestnuts seem to have meshed the kitty litter uh, into a great big mass, okay? Now, I'm going to reach in here and see if I can get this out. There we go, it's coming. Yep, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. All right, there we go. Ah, there you go. Look at that, huh? Here they are, just hanging like apples. Just dangling off the bottom of all of this over here. Um, we got a whole bunch of them. I have already begun harvesting some of these. I've given some away oh, to friends and neighbors. We ate, a, we ate some already, too. Um, this is so easy. It is so easy. Uh, I'm going to have to go in here and renew this. I'm going to fresh the whole thing up um, and, and go ahead and take these chestnuts out and propagate and make more and more and more and more chestnuts out of this deal. But this is so easy. Just, just this bucket over here just filled up with kitty litter and water. And the chestnuts dangle just off like apples on an apple tree branch. That is so neat. Yep. So the chestnuts just dangle off the reeds like apples on a tree branch. Peel off the brown skin on this and you get this nice, white, crunchy, sweet, 
a um, little stir fry maybe you know it's all it takes to make these absolutely delicious and then if you wish to propagate the next thing to do is I would put these like say in four inch pots with kitty litter and then set them in water uh, or you could put them in if you have gallon pots that have no drain hole these are used for growing water plants you know fill it up half with kitty litter or with the uh, uh, aquatic plant soils there are some profile mix one it's a clay again and just put one of these guys in there and wait till spring and use a little fertilizer when it grows it'll come up grow itself into a bunch of reeds they're going to make chestnuts off the bottom this is one of the easier garden crops the only thing i don't like about them is having to peel them yeah peeling is a lot of work well there you go water chestnuts and five dollar <laughs> target buckets for gardening aloha hang loose stay well <laughs>